Did you see how good looking he was? He was hot. I have all this stuff. I got my bling bling. Oh, I got a great purse. My car is awesome. What do you have? Oh, this lady, she's like, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello! In this lesson, we're going to use an idiom at the drop of a hat and a picture woo, to create a conversation. And we're also going to do vocabulary. We're going to see more pictures. We're going to learn synonyms for the vocabulary words and hopefully have some fun. All right, let's get started. The idiom we're going to use today as a foundation for building a conversation and exploring other vocabulary is at the drop of a hat. So let's see, you know, what does this idiom mean? Well, at the drop of a hat means immediately, without delay, right now. So if something happens at the drop of a hat, it happens immediately, right now, without delay. This idiom can also mean without hesitation, without any planning. Like, at the drop of a hat, we decided to go on a cruise and travel around the world. We didn't plan it, it just happened at the, at, at the drop of a hat. Okay, here's a word, hesitation. Hmm, that looks like a great vocabulary word that we should explore, so let's look. Hesitation. We have the word over here, vocabulary. And in this picture, we see a lady who is hesitating. She's not sure. Is it no? Is it yes? What should we do? I don't know. So the definition of hesitation is the action of pausing or delaying before saying or doing something. Right? So hesitation is the noun. Hesitate would be the verb, the action. So if you stop for a moment, you're, you're going, you're making plans, you're moving forward, all of a sudden you're like, uh, uh, I'm not quite sure what to do. You're hesitating. That is hesitation. All right. So back to the definition of at the drop of a hat. Let's see an example. At the drop of a hat, the man took off his shirt and started dancing the tango. We were quite confused. <laughs> okay, so it's at the drop of a hat. We could have said, immediately the man took off his shirt and started dancing. Or, without hesitation, the man took off his shirt and started dancing. Maybe the man walked up, looked around, whipped off, ripped off his shirt and started dancing. And what did he dance? He danced the tango. Have you guys heard of the word tango? Well, let's check it out. Right, we have the word tango here, right? And tango is a kind of dance. It's a kind of dance from Argentina. And I've never danced the tango. I've seen it. I've seen videos and people dancing it live too but I've never tried it. It seems very intense. And the people that dance, they look like they're in really good shape. They're very slim and trim and healthy and they look like they're having a lot of fun. Okay, so tango is a kind of dance from Argentina. So in our example, we talked, we used the uh, idiom at the drop of a hat and it was that a man suddenly showed up, took off his shirt and started dancing. And we were quite confused. Um, confused means we don't understand what's happening. <laughs> if suddenly someone pops up and they rip off their shirt and they start dancing the tango. We might say that's confusing. <laughs> we don't understand what's happening. Okay, let's move on to our conversation. Oh, I see a picture. I think we'd better check it out. Okay, Ooh, nice and yellow too. Ooh. Okay, so we have a picture. We have Lisa and we have Janet. Okay, let's describe Lisa first. Lisa has her hands by her face like this and her hands are, the palms 
are facing us and the fingers are stretched out, right? And she has it close to her mouth like this. Her eyes are open all the way and she's staring with intensity, right? She's staring forward. Looks like she has brown hair. It's hard to tell how long it is. Uh, she has a light blue button-up shirt that is long sleeve. Long sleeve means that it goes all the way to your wrists, right? Just like Janet has a long sleeve shirt as well. And Lisa's looking surprised, shocked, excited, maybe scared, maybe a whole mix of emotions. Now Janet, she's very focused on something in front of her as well. And her eyes are open, but her hands, she, we can't see her palms, we see the back of her hands. And she's covering, covering her mouth. <gasps> maybe she's shocked. Maybe she's surprised. Maybe she saw something that just made her oh, <laughs> be startled for a moment. So this is Lisa and Janet. Uh, Janet has red hair. And her hair is maybe with gel or some sort of hairspray. I'm not sure. The hair is pulled up kind of like a horn <laughs> or a point in the, in the top front. Janet has two rings on. She has one ring on each ring finger. Ring finger is, so we have... We have the thumb, we have the index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and the pinky finger, right? So Janet has quite a bit of jewelry on. She also has a nice watch, a couple bracelets, and a big necklace of fake pearls, I would guess. Because if those are real pearls, then it would be very expensive and maybe a risk to carry it around like that. So Janet has a lot of jewelry. I would say Lisa doesn't have a lot of any jewelry on, I don't think. Okay, so if I had to describe this picture in a couple of sentences, I would say, I see two women, they're looking at me, and they look shocked, surprised, and maybe just full of emotion. <laughs> okay, so let's figure out what they're talking about. Whoa, I can't wait. So it looks like Lisa is going to start the conversation. She says, did you see that guy at the drop of a hat? He stole that lady's purse. Janet, I know. I saw it too. Did you see how good looking he was? He, he was hot. Lisa, what? Aren't you worried about the poor lady? She was robbed. Janet, I know that lady. She's a jerk. She can fix her situation at the drop of a hat. All right, first we're going to go through and find the idioms. At the drop of a hat. And we're going to make it bold, make it stand out so we can see it easily. You know there's another one. Here it is, at the drop of a hat. Make it bold. Okay, so Lisa used the idiom one time and Janet used the idiom one time. And remember, at the drop of a hat, no hesitation, suddenly, without delay. So let me take a peek at the conversation. Make sure there aren't any mistakes, and I'm going to read the conversation using regular speed, how people would say it at regular speed. Okay, Lisa, did you see that guy at the drop of a hat? He stole that lady's purse. Janet, I know, I saw it too. Did you see how good looking he was? He was hot. Lisa, what? Aren't you worried about the poor lady? She was robbed. Janet, I know that lady. She's a jerk. She can fix her situation at the drop of a hat. All right. So Lisa uses the idiom first. She said, at the drop of a hat, he stole that lady's purse. Now she could have said, suddenly, he stole that purse. I can't believe it. It happened so fast. He stole that purse <gasps> without delay. Oh, uh, there was no pause. There was no hesitation. Suddenly, immediately, he stole that lady's purse. Now, Janet, she ends the conversation when she says, 
she can fix her situation at the drop of a hat. And she's talking about the lady. So she can fix her situation just like that. Very quickly, immediately, no problem, no hesitation. <clears throat> All right. So that is the conversation. I think we should talk about some vocabulary in the conversation and use pictures to help explain it. All right, let's get started. So Lisa says, did you see that guy? At the drop of a hat, he stole that lady's purse. All right. Probably you may know what a purse is, but I'm going to show it to you and give you other words that mean the same thing. So if we're looking at the word purse, we have the word purse up here. Okay, so these are purses, right? These are bags <laughs> that ladies would care, carry. So here we go. Here are some other words that mean pretty much the same thing as purse. You can say a handbag. You can say a woman's bag. You could just say a bag. <laughs> You can say a shoulder bag, right? So these are all different ways to say purse. Uh, the size and the shape, wow, there's a lot of different ones. I mean, black one, uh, purple or pink one. Another black one looks like leather with a tag on it. A red one, uh, a blue one with extra straps and there's a shoulder strap that has a hand strap, has a shoulder strap. And yeah, so there are, I'm not a purse expert, but there are a lot of purses out there and women seem to love them. So here are some other words, other ways to say purse. Handbag, woman's bag, bag, shoulder bag. And sometimes we'll see it like this too. Handbag, you wanna put a space in between. That's gonna depend on what you like. All right, let's go back to the conversation. All right, so Janet keeps the conversation going. She says, I know. I saw it too. And when she says it, she's talking about the guy stealing that lady's purse. It means the action of that robber, the thief stealing that lady's purse. I saw it too. I also saw it. Did you see how good looking he was? When we're talking about he, we're talking about the robber, the, per the criminal. <laughs> Janet is focused on how good looking the guy is. So good looking. Hmm. Good looking, we kind of get an idea because it's something good and has to do with looks, right? How about we look at some pictures and do some extra vocabulary? All right. Take a look. Here we are. So we have the word good looking, right? Good looking. And here's some pictures. We'll talk about that in a moment. Here are other ways to say good looking. And in this situation, it was for a man, right? It was a male robber, a male thief, a male, a male guy who stole, <laughs> stole the purse. So we're gonna, I'm going to give you some other ways to say good looking for men, right? You can say handsome. You can say nice looking. You can say attractive. You can say easy. We'll put this as a phrase, easy on the eyes. Hmm. You can also say stunning. And I think in the conversation, Janet used another one. He, she, he said he was hot. And hot here doesn't mean like temperature. <laughs> like his body is extremely, has a high temperature. No, he was hot means he was good looking, that he was handsome, right? So here are other ways to say good looking. Handsome. Nice looking, attractive, easy on the eyes, stunning. Easy on the eyes is an idiom, right? It's a group of words that has an extra meaning, like a hidden meaning from what you see, right? So easy on the eyes means when you look at something, it's very easy to look at. And if women are looking at good looking or handsome men, it's easy for them to keep looking. Right? So it's easy on the eyes. Stunning is probably the, the strongest one here. It means like really good looking, really handsome. So stunning. You're like shocked at how handsome the guy is or shocked at how beautiful the woman is. Let's see. Handsome is going to be for men, right? But all of the rest you could also use for women, for females, right? You could say a nice looking woman. An attractive woman 
Oh, she's really easy on the eyes or she's stunning. <laughs> right. Okay. So these are all different ways to say good looking. And good looking, the word right here, can be for a woman or for a man. The only one on this list that could pretty much is only for men is handsome. All of the rest you could use for males or females. All right. Back to the conversation. Okay. So Janet, he was hot. So Janet is more focused on the good looks of the thief, of the robber. Lisa, what? Aren't you worried about the poor lady? She was robbed. All right, so she was robbed. Hmm, what does she was robbed mean? Let's take a look. All right, so she was robbed. Let's see, let's... The person who's doing the robbing, who's taking the stuff, is called a robber, right? The verb is to rob, and when we put it into a noun, the person, it's a robber, right? So the sentence is, she was robbed. So a robber took her things. Here are some other words, other ways to say robber. You could say thief. Uh, you could say attacker. You could say assailant and mugger there may be other ways but these are a few let me put some space in between all right and mugger is a noun it's a person the verb is to mug so if you mugged someone you stole from them <laughs> you robbed them right okay so let's say it again robber thief attacker assailant mugger right so she was robbed. The robber took her things. The thief attacked her and took her money. The attacker grabbed her and stole her stuff. The assailant was, assailant is just a word for the attacker. The person who is using force to take something or force someone else to do something. So we have some pictures, right? Uh, let's see. Here's a nice robber. She even has uh, a a handkerchief or like a, a bandana to cover her mouth, right? And she doesn't want you to see her face while she steals your money, right? Then you can't tell, you can't give a good description to the police later on. So she has a gun and she has like red hair and a hat and she's probably saying, give me all your money. What? Give me all your money? <laughs> uh, this guy is an assailant or a, an attacker, maybe a a robber or a thief or a mugger yeah and he's using a knife to either threaten someone right or maybe the person's not giving their money and he's gonna stab them stab means to take a knife and stick it in someone so on this one the robber or the attacker grabbed the victim the person who's receiving the harm the victim <laughs> flipped them upside down and he's shaking the money out of them we can see the cash and coins falling out. So I think this is the guy you could say, he was robbed. The attacker grabbed him, flipped him upside down, and shook all his money out. In this picture, maybe this is a person, a potential robber, someone who's thinking about robbing someone or attacking someone. They have their hand at the back, right above their pants, because tucked in to their belt, or tucked into their pants at the bottom part of their back is a gun, a pistol. Kind of looks like maybe a Glock or a Sig Sauer. I'm not quite sure what kind of gun, but it's hidden, right? And maybe we can't see in the picture, but they're going to steal something or take something from someone. I don't know. So these are other ways to say robber and fit the situation for the person who was robbing the lady. Hmm. Right? Let's see. Lisa also says, aren't you worried? Hmm. Let's see some other ways to say, aren't you worried? Yeah, let's get it. Okay. So aren't you worried, right? Um, the pictures over here, we'll get to them in a moment, but let's talk about different ways to say, aren't you worried? You could say, don't you feel anxious? Anxious is kind of like nervous, maybe a little bit afraid. You just don't feel right. You're worried. Don't you feel 
a little scared? Aren't you nervous? And aren't you troubled? Let me move these back up. Right. So let's see. Aren't you worried is what they used in the conversation. And here are other ways to communicate that same question. Don't you feel anxious? Don't you feel a little scared? Aren't you nervous? Aren't you troubled? Troubled is a nice word to describe when something's kind of stressing us out, causing us stress or a headache, and it's just trouble, right? So you feel troubled as well, right? Okay, so these are other ways to say, aren't you worried? And in this picture, the lady's holding her books and papers and stuff, and she might be like, ah, oh, I have too many assignments. I don't want to study anymore. Ah, I'm sick of it. So she's worried that she won't have time to, I don't know, travel or do other things that she wants to do. So maybe she's troubled. Oh, that seems like a good one. She's troubled because she has to study so much. All right. Now this picture, the guy has his hands over his eyes and his face. Oh, maybe he's just depressed. He's stressed out. Maybe he's anxious. Uh, there's going to be some big presentation he has to do for the first time. And he's nervous that he might make a lot of mistakes or something like that. Maybe he's nervous, right? This lady, she has... Her eyebrows are kind of scrunched up. Scrunched up means when they go like this, right? You're frowning. Um, maybe something doesn't look right. Or maybe like in the conversation, you see someone who looks strange and like maybe they want to hurt someone else or rob someone else. So you're, you're anxious. Something, something about, something's going to happen. You're worried about something. This lady, she's like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Uh, who knows about what it could be anything it could be my neighbor's dog pooped on my yard again oh my god oh my god I can't believe it happened <laughs> so maybe she's anxious because she has to go over to her neighbors now and say for the 1000th time can you please clean up the dog poop from your dog that's on my yard uh, in this picture we have two potatoes right and I would say this potato on the bottom is very worried, very anxious, and very scared. <laughs> because this potato has a knife and fork. It looks like the potato that's standing up is going to eat the potato that's sitting down. So that's a good reason to be troubled. <laughs> if you're this potato, you're probably very nervous, freaking out, right? If someone's going to eat you. All right, back to the conversation. All right, let's see. Janet says, I know that lady. So Janet knew the lady that was being robbed, right? And she's a jerk. <laughs> so let's talk about what is a jerk. So in the conversation, it said, she's a jerk, right? And we're talking about the victim of the robbery, the person who had their money stolen, right? So uh, I think it was Janet. Let's see. Yes, Janet said she's a jerk. Okay, here are other ways to say she's a jerk. Similar ways. All right. You say she's a moron. She's nasty. She's really rude. She has no manners. Right? In this situation, jerk. Janet must have a history with this lady. Maybe it's her former boss or current boss or the lady has, I don't know, done something to Janet which makes Janet not like her. So when the lady got robbed, she didn't care. She was more focused on the good looking robber. <laughs> so she's a jerk it means it's someone who's not fun to be around. They cause problems. Maybe they hurt you. Uh, they say mean things about you. So another word for a jerk is moron, right? Moron can mean stupid, but it can also be an insult to be, it's just someone you don't like, right? Even if they're intelligent, they just, they're a jerk. They're a moron. I hate them. <laughs> She's nasty. Nasty sometimes can describe food. 
it tastes really bad and you ugh, right it's nasty it's horrible but we can also use nasty to describe a person and in this case we're describing a woman she's nasty and it doesn't mean like you're going to taste her and she tastes bad no we're describing her personality how she interacts with people how she deals with people she's nasty she's rude to people she's a jerk to people she yells and screams at everyone she's really rude right it's just another way to say she's a jerk very similar to she's nasty and she has no manners manners if someone has good man good manners they're very respectful they say please they say thank you they respect you and their their words and their action actions show that they respect you right they yes they respect you so if this lady has no manners maybe she just yells at everyone doesn't wait for people to finish talking she talks on top of them someone's talking but then she just keeps talking and has no manners right so she's a jerk this lady right here she just looks real pissed off like she's gonna punch us i guess her mouth is open ah! she's, just <laughs> she's gonna attack and something happened maybe she's the robber's sister or girlfriend who knows all right but she's pissed off and if she's treating you this way later you might say wow she's a jerk this lady she's frowning she has her eyebrows crunched up pushed together looking at you maybe she's going to insult you how could you do that i can't believe you're just so rude whatever and so she's a jerk this lady she's got her sunglasses on she's like Maybe she's like acting in a way that she thinks she's better than you and she needs you to know it or she wants you to know that she thinks she's better than you. I have all this stuff. I got my bling bling. Oh, I got a great purse. My car is awesome. What do you have? Oh, you're so poor. You don't have anything. And someone else that's talking with her might be like, he's a jerk. She's a moron. She's nasty. She has no manners. This lady she has holding up a watch she seems probably focused on time maybe you arrive to a meeting one minute late and she's like one minute you're costing me money and so she's kind of a jerk because she's not very flexible at all right maybe you're 30 seconds late she's like oh i can't believe it you're fired so you could say she's nasty right she's a jerk okay all right, so we made it through this conversation. Oh, fabulous. We talked about vocabulary words, purse, different ways to say purse. We talked about good looking, different ways to say good looking. We talked about different ways to describe or, or to say a robber, a thief, attacker. We talked about different ways to say, aren't you worried? And she's a jerk. <laughs> so in this lesson today, we use the idiom at the drop of a hat and we use a picture to create a conversation and actually we used a lot of pictures because after we created the conversation there was vocabulary that we needed to explain right and using pictures to understand vocabulary and phrases and ways to say something it's great it gives us a nice visual okay so just to review once again at the drop of a hat means immediately without delay right now without hesitation without any planning it just happens suddenly okay all right i hope you enjoyed this lesson because i had a great time all right